Hey guys, it's me, Miss Mason, back with another activity for you. And what I want to show you today is something I saw online, and I wanted to test it out first and then show you how to make it if it works. So I already made one batch of homemade watercolor paints, and they actually didn't work. But I think they might work if I didn't let them dry first. So I'm going to try it again here with you guys live and then I'll test it out on some paper and see how it works, okay? So basically all you need is good old baking soda. You probably have a box of this in your fridge because it helps keep fridges from becoming really stinky and gross. Also, people use it when they're baking, okay? So you need some baking soda and good old food coloring, okay? Again, when baking, people like to color their cupcake frosting and stuff. So anyways, I am actually missing my red. I'm assuming it's at school. <laughs> so I've got yellow, green, and blue. Okay. And you'll just need a little bit of water and some kind of a spoon to scoop the baking soda out. You don't want to just pour it because then it'll be too much. Okay. So I've also got my muffin tin. You can see it's just an ordinary muffin tin. Okay. Sorry, you can't see that real super well. And then I put some foil on it because, like I said, I wasn't sure if this was going to work or not, and I didn't know if my husband would want watercolor paints all over the muffin tin. So I just put some foil in it, and you can see I made some kind of wells in the spots. And then you can see here is the orange that I tried to make yesterday and the green. And I've got a little bit of water in there. There's the blue. And they've dried up but they don't really work. They just kind of crumble into dust now. So, oh well. Anyways, let's get on with this experiment. All right. So I'm going to take my baking soda. I'm going to scoop a little bit out. And this is actually a teaspoon, so I'm not using very much. Okay, put it in my little well there. And then I'm going to pick some food color. And it doesn't take much to make it really bright, so I'm just going to do three drops. One, two, three. There we go. Okay, Let's see if you guys can see that. There we go. All right. And then I'm going to get some water. Okay, put that in there. Mix them up. Sorry, that's kind of a weird noise. All right, and then I'm going to put that right there. Now, now, I've got a piece of scratch paper here, so I'm going to try it out and see if this works. Hmm. So that's pretty good, although I'm not sure what the benefit of putting the baking soda in is. So I'm just rinsing my little teaspoon off here. Put that there and my brush, so I've got some thinner, this doesn't have hardly any baking soda in it. Well, I guess it does make it a little bit brighter. Anyways, you can experiment too, so let's do that again. Why not? I'm just going to dry off my spoon there. Not real scientific. A little bit of baking soda, and let's see some yellow. Again, three dots. One, two, three. That's the nice thing about food colors is you can really control how much you use. A little bit of water. Mix it up. I guess the baking soda makes it a little bit thicker. That's kind of a weird noise, huh? All right, dip my brush in there and see what happens. Yeah, that's okay, but you can see where it's kind of flaking off here a little bit. So you can try it, experiment, make a pretty picture, and then when you're done with your really cool picture, take a picture. Take a picture of your paints, okay? Take a picture of the picture you paint with it if you decide to do this. Generally speaking, I will not 
tell you about activities that use food products because I really feel like you should be eating the food, not making art out of it. Um, but food coloring, there's no nutritional value in food coloring. And baking soda, generally speaking, that's something we all have. And I mean, this box has probably been in our fridge for three years now, so I don't, I don't feel bad about making paint out of it. So anyways, let me know how it comes out. Email it to me. And I can't wait to see your paintings. Hopefully they come out better than mine. <laughs> All right, guys. I love you. I miss you. Can't wait to see you again. Wash your hands. Sing the alphabet song while you're scrubbing so you get lots of germs off. And teach your younger brothers and sisters the alphabet song, too, so they wash their hands as well. Okay? See you guys soon. Bye.